to the song, it's tricky, but I guess it's tricky. <laughs> well, grab Cupid by his quiver and be still like beating hard. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Slay the Night Extravaganza Valentine's Edition. Happy Valentine's Day, or rather, day after Valentine's Day, to all the happy couples here tonight. And to everyone else like me, happy Singles Day. <laughs> a professional stand-up comic than me. I'm not like yeah, yeah. So I'm more like the knockoff, no-name brand, schmuck schmucks. It's not good addition. We just work cheaper and have scripts. I ask the universe tonight to please let me look like a Greek god. I suppose I should have specified which one. I think I'm an Aphrodite, you know, of beauty and love. I got Dionysus. Got a wine, fertility, and the party. <laughs> I'm not gonna get there, though. It's still kind of fun. But I want to look romantic, like someone off the cover of a Harlequin and Man of Ryan's novel, you know? But instead of Harlequin, I got Harley Quinn. <laughs> After she snapped, and then, you know, John Joker. Workplace behavior. 
So I just watch. But you know, when I was younger, I got picked on a lot in school. And when I told my parents, they told me that a boy picks on you. That means he likes you. And I'm like, really? Are you sure about this? Because that would mean every boy, girl, and the teacher like me. Um, we might want to rethink that just a little bit because if we don't, the next parent teacher interview is going to be a little bit awkward. My teacher, how you doing? <laughs> oh, we we'll love the dating apps though. They're basically now the, it's the digital age of that note passing. All the questions that you could, you know, you answer when you fill out those forms, it screens out a lot of people. It seems to you the trouble that when you win the club, half the people would already be knocked out. You can just go, no, not you, not you. But can you imagine though, trying to do the real life version of Tinder? Swiping? Ah, uh, some sketchy character tries to come up to you and buy you a drink. You're like, nope, swipe left. Like an extra sketch. Shake a shake gone. <laughs> Makes life easier, but I don't think they'd like the hand in the face. But personally, I'm not about that, Marcy. I don't think I get to know somebody over coffee. And you know what, maybe I'm thinking, you know, there is a best market here. All these dating apps should really hook up with coffee shops <coughs> and make a new business. Picture this, plenty of fish with Starbucks. Match with Tim Hortons. And so basically the whole Netflix and chill, the pickup lines of these apps gets to me coffee, chat and get to become like grinder and chill. <laughs> For those who know the site, you know the stories. <laughs> but where, you know, and nobody's like who's not having coffee, they don't look like their photos. And those who didn't post their photos, they never showed up at all. It's an anonymous job of hookups. But maybe it's just me though, but I'm curious about what kinds of lines people use to seduce each other and how it may vary between provinces. You see, I'm from a small farm out in Saskatchewan here, and I'm a kid that could go up to someone and say, my haystack are yours. But, Alberta, I'm kind of wondering how you're doing that. Because I think there's pheromones in the sports arenas, personally. Because I see a lot of you people going to hockey games, and I've deduced a lot of people like to pop. <laughs> so slap shot, mine never yours. I may not know a lot about romantic relationships, but I can tell you this. Communication is everything. As much as it is important to let for love and understanding, you gotta watch out for those misunderstandings. They're pretty critical. They can take any innocent conversation to another level, good or bad, even with friends. I'm reminded of a story my bestie told me there. A uh, traffic player, he and his friend Brandy, they went down to California in the summer and they went to a Denny's and they ordered poutine. Yeah, you can imagine the confusion. The server said, excuse me, uh, is that another word for vagina? <laughs> and uh, rest assured, though, they quickly told him what it actually was. And he's like, oh, oh we do have that but we call it smothering here, and it's served with onions. Well, I don't know about you, but smothering sounds a lot like s and fetish to me, <laughs> even with those onions. <laughs> so the question is, who gets the tip? I've had my own under mis misunderstandings, mind you. And our oh, workplace I used to work at years ago, a coworker comes at me, I barely even knew the woman. I spoke to me twice. Suddenly she invites me to a sex party. And he looked at her very politely, and he kind of blushed, I'm sure. And I'm like, no, I don't get it. And she's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I don't. It's just fine. Uh, I found, or I thought at the time, I was turning down an orgy, reasonably. But it turns out these sex parties are actually like Tupperware parties, but for toys. And they're both sealed for your freshness. <laughs> you know, I feel like I, if I was to ask if for those of you who are familiar with comedian Jeff Foxworthy and his redneck routine, I feel like if I asked him about dating apps though, is there one for rednecks? You know, well, maybe you should start one for rednecks and he'd be like, it already exists. No. Really? 
I'm sure he'd tell me. Ancestry.ca. <laughs> <laughs> That's one misunderstanding anybody wants to Trust me on that. And you want, for all of you lucky enough tonight to catch the love of your life, girls. For those still looking, keep trolling. There's plenty of fish in the sea. And for those of you proud and single, enjoy the mingle. In any relationship, though, remember to love yourself and to take a cue from Greek mythology. And like narcissists, be sure to fall in love with the one in the mirror. But unlike him, don't get stuck there. He's still looking at himself. So reflect the love to yourself and to others. And remember, roses are red, violets are blue. Two drinks in, I'll be flirting with all of you. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>